Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. Today I want to talk about dehumidifiers. Find them a lot on the side of the road. Um, actually a lot of times very good condition. Um, before I take them apart, I plug them in to see if they work. A lot of times people use them one year, maybe two years, and then just uh, don't know what to do with them so they throw them on the side of the road. I've taken back about uh, seven of them. Uh, give them a couple friends. I've donated a couple to uh, Goodwill, but uh, what I want to do this one is not working I've already checked. Uh, I want to take it apart and show you the really good stuff that you can find inside of it So for the sake of time, I've already taken the bolts off of the plastic shell um, So here we go. So plastic shell. There is a lot of plastic. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with this other than throw it out Okay, I wish I could take this to a scrapyard or have it processed somehow, but uh, we don't recycle this either because it's uh, not a pickup, so it goes in the trash. Okay? There's always a uh, water uh, reservoir bucket, okay? so that's also plastic. Um, this one, as you can see, is very dirty inside, so I'm, I'm not really going to use it for um, anything other than maybe an oil bucket, okay? so I probably could use that. There is a compressor in here. I have another video of actually how to um, look what's inside a compressor, okay? So I will show you that another day. Uh, and I've also safely taken the uh, fluid out of there. Um, so this is already taken out. Okay, so pull it right here. Got a couple cords that I have to still cut off. Right. Okay, but I will take that apart. So first thing, there's a compressor. Really nice pieces of copper on here that I will take off, okay, on both sides. Um, there is also one that connects here to from the uh, grill that I'm gonna show you, okay? So I'm not gonna open this. There is also silver contacts in there, but that's uh, on another video where I take apart a compressor. There is a very nice spool of aluminum right there uh, that I will take off. It's, got, it's mounted on there. The fluid flows through there, goes to the compressor. Okay. There is a lot of steel, steel frame, okay, that's got a cord that I will take apart. And I will close that. Okay. This kind of cord, Canadian money, goes for a dollar a pound. Uh, it's not quite a pound but uh, it also has some really nice uh, brass prongs on there. You can take them off, put them into your uh, brass bucket, or you can leave them on there. Uh, it's up to you. Okay, there is two rows that I'm going to take apart. And just for the sake of time, I'm going to separate this. wire I can get. Okay, so this is tin. Okay, there is a contact switch right here uh, that I will take off. Um, it's just got a couple bolts in there. Uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, you can open that and there is uh, silver. So it's a silver contact. If you haven't seen it, it looks like this. Get my gloves out of the way. Okay, so both sides. This silver spot is actually, uh, or the, is silver, okay? That's a silver contact, and then you find those in there. Um, anytime you find a switch, there is usually a piece of silver in there. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out the uh, motor here. Okay, um, as you can see there is copper. Okay, there's lots of copper. that out. Okay. And this aluminum grill actually is connected with copper. So to maximize my profit, I will go as far down as I can uh, where it connects with the copper. Okay, uh, I'll cut it off. That's where it's still 
And it comes off very easy. Okay. Both sides. All right. So this is a aluminum uh, coil. Okay, you take the plastic off. Uh, and all I have to do is just cut it off, pull it off with a pair of pliers. Uh, I'm not gonna do it completely right now for the sake of time, but I'm going to obviously clean that up. Uh, clean aluminum right now goes to about uh, 40 cents a pound, Canadian again. Okay, so that's a nice piece of aluminum. Okay, there are several spots where I can get copper. Okay. I'm just going to pull this off like that. So both of these are copper, okay, this is all copper. This copper is relatively clean. There is spots uh, where there is a foam um, kind of protector on it, okay. It's very sticky, but it does come off nice and easy. Um, you can take it off if you want, or you can leave it. Um, so yeah, just pull it off. I would suggest you wear gloves, because <laughs> it does get pretty sticky, okay. Um, but you can start seeing it through this coil. So I'm not going to separate it for you right now, but there is copper here. Anywhere there is sod, soldering, I would cut uh, before that just so, for example, this piece here, there's no sod, so this would be a number one copper. The piece that has sod on it would be a number uh, two copper. Okay, so uh, there are spots where I would definitely cut, or if I didn't want to, I could put it into number one, or sorry, number two bin, but I'm going to lose about 20 cents a pound. Okay. So here is a aluminum copper um, grill. Word of caution, wear gloves when you're dealing with these. They are very sharp uh, and you, if you're not wearing gloves, you might have some uh, little cuts on your hand by the time you're done. Okay, I can bring this in as is. I think they're 60 cents a pound. Um, but a better, more effective thing to do would be to cut off the pieces of copper. And it's very simple to do. Uh, some people take a um, uh, grinder, which I'm gonna do. Some people take a sawzall and they'll actually go on um, inside of the steel. There's a little sheet of steel there, okay? So I can see it right there. Um, so some people just take a sawzall and just go right down the, the uh, inside of that and the steel will come off and you can get a little bit more copper, okay? I'm just gonna do it with a, a, a grinder for you right now. I'm not gonna take the whole thing off on maybe another video. Okay. But very simple. Safety glasses on. So, as you can see, very simple to come off, uh, and I didn't take that one off, but you could just actually just take a screwdriver and pry this metal piece off as well. Some people, there are videos, Musa Scrapper does a good job with it, he uh, will actually cut through that, put a screwdriver in and yank it up to, to maximize uh, his copper. Um, I find it very messy. Uh, a lot of these little fine pieces of uh, aluminum will fly all over the place, um, they might cut you. So I find if, even if I can get some copper, it's better than nothing, okay? So we have more pieces of wire here, stuck in there. There are bolts, um, some of the wires connected to. Sometimes there are zip ties holding it in. Okay. So 
There is a, another piece of silver, if I open this up, because there was the lever that turns the dehumidifier on and off. Okay, so inside there, there's a piece of plastic, and there'll be another one of those um, little switches like that that had the silver in them. Okay. And last thing on here is your fan. Now this is a, there will be a fan, a copper motor in here, and it's just bolted in with a screwdriver, or with a screw, sorry. Some people use a screwdriver, some people use a drill. I like using my hand. Okay, so another piece of tin. One bolt. Um, keep in mind as well, a lot of these bolts, uh, screws, nuts, you can use again. I, I've got a whole bunch that I've got in a bucket that I've used for different projects around the house. Uh, if not, then I can just throw it in the seal bin. Okay, so this fan motor is connected by a screw. I'm just opening it up. So this motor, I will take off. I could take off with a grinder. Okay, and I will do that very quickly right now to show you. All I do is actually do two cuts down the side. The fan is just plastic, so just break it off like that. So, um, there are a couple bolts holding this in. Take it out, take it out. And there is nice copper wire right there that I could use. All I have to do, I could put, throw this in if I want into a copper uh, motor spin, or I can maximize my profit by cutting the copper, which I will show you. Okay, and all I have to do, it's already bolted in. Take my fire pry bar, put it under the vise like a lever, pull it up. And I could put this into number one copper. So, to summarize the dehumidifier, well worth the time, well worth the, uh, the money in there. To recap, a copper aluminum grill with nice pieces of copper. You have copper from the motor. A lot of steel that will go in my steel bin. More copper. An aluminum um, pipe. And an a compressor that I still haven't taken off. Okay, any questions uh, or comments, leave them down below. Please uh, subscribe, like if you liked it. Uh, if, you, if there's anything else that interests you, let me know.
for until next time, Tin Man out.